Good morning, everybody. Okay, so somebody on the team was having problems with emails going out um, from a show. Um, so I don't know if you know you can do this, but an option. Um, so we're in a show right now. We're going to go to guest list. So the host had actually created a guest list um, in the show, and then emails were going out. So I'm just showing this one as my example. Um, so you can see this. But when they were sending the list, it, for some reason, the emails weren't going. So there's actually a way you can harvest all the emails in a show and put them into a regular email. Um, so let's take a look at this. So I am going to click the button up here that then check marks all the emails or all the people. I'm going to go over here and just pick one of these. It really doesn't matter. Um, give it a second and okay. So now it's to the point where now I can send an email but in her case it wasn't working. All I have to do is come over here and highlight all of this. And yes, you're getting the names too. Don't worry about it. They'll disappear. And then I get my email, create an, oops, create a new email. And I'm just going to go up to the two and I'm going to paste all of those. Um, at first it's going to look like all their names are in there. At least on my computer, that actually disappears. Oh, see, there you go. Um, and now I can go ahead and put a subject line and write my text. So that's a real quick way you can pull emails out of something, especially if you want to send attachments like recipes, and you can't do that from the Pamper Chef site. Um, this is how I pull the emails whenever I need to. Hope that helps somebody. Have a great Saturday, everybody.